from the AFRTS News Center in Washington, this is the Two Minute Report. I'm Air Force Sergeant Amy Canna. On this edition, illegal drugs. The Defense Department is facing some challenges keeping people in uniform, but officials say they won't resort to letting known drug users stay in. Yeah. The department's senior drug enforcement leader says the military couldn't safely perform missions if its zero tolerance policy on illegal drug use was compromised. She points to a 1981 accident on the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz. Fourteen individuals were killed, seven airplanes were destroyed, and the ensuing investigation seemed to indicate that drug use could have compounded the problem. Since the accident, Ms. Salazar says the military has built a strong, energetic drug testing program, and drug use among service members has dropped more than 90 percent. But the drug testing program's success has not stopped the services from taking millions of samples this year. Our testing rates are high enough that we believe that there is a deterrence factor, that an individual will think twice before they use drugs because there is a possibility of them being called in to do drug testing. And she says military members who come up positive have made their career intentions known. Either you want to be in the armed forces or you don't. That's how, how we perceive it. And using drugs is a clear indication that perhaps you don't want that, you're, um, that your inclination is to be someplace else. Military drug testing technology is expanding to cover substances growing more popular in America today, notably heroin and methamphetamine. And the services are working harder to identify drug users in the recruiting process so they never get into uniform. That's the Two Minute Report. From Washington, I'm Air Force Sergeant Amy Canna. On Two Minute Plus, Learn more about the danger posed by illegal drugs at three websites endorsed by the Office of National Drug Control Policy. Here are the addresses.